Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Popping the Ten. And today by your votes, this was the winner. So the second time was the charm for the McBaron Golden Brown Burley London Blend. Well, that's a long mm, name. So yeah. Long, yeah. And it says November 2023, and this was the 2024 run of, of this blend. Okay. Um uh, this one came in second place, so at the end I'm gonna give you Another chance to go between this one and something else. And that will be probably the last we'll do for the Burley for now. And then we'll, we'll switch to something else later. So go ahead and pop the tin. See what we got. That's a big, hefty can. That is big. Why is that? that? It's just double the double. the the amount. Okay. Usually. Sometimes the other ones are 50 gram, And this one is a... Oh, that was easy. Yes, it was really quick. You said that I could twist this. <laughs> Not with my hands. Do you already heard the pss, right? Yeah, of course I did. Go ahead. Darn it. <laughs> I need to do more. Oh, wow. I smell already. Yes, you do. You open it. Yeah, you get a lot. But I guess it's more money, though. I'm going to... Yes, more yes. We have to thank Ryan. Mm. Thank you, Ryan. Ryan has been the person who has provided us with the last two blends. Um, the Solani and the um, London um, calling came from Ryan. Thank you very wow. much. Wow, it smells. Look, look at that. It smells just like cocoa. All right, let me see. Oh, I like this a lot. I love this, this smell. Is, it's my favorite one so far out of the Burley. Very that pleasant. is very chocolate. Very, very chocolate. Chocolatey. Yeah. Feels like I'm about to prepare myself. Ah! Quick chocolate milk. Go get the milk. <laughs> yeah. I like that smell. What is this cut, honey? Uh, let me see. You know, let me put my glasses. Oh, oh, I lost my glasses. You lost your what? Yeah. All right. Well, oh. <laughs> Look at that right there. <laughs> I need my glasses to see my glasses. <laughs> How about that? In front of you. <laughs> yeah, this is like a shag. Yeah. Like a shag cut. It also had the little curls of the other one, but yeah, it's like a check. So I'm gonna put some in here. Yeah, this. He really likes it. I really wow, like it. It smells of, delicious. Out of all the burlies, this one definitely smells very, very chocolatey. Yeah. If you like chocolate, hmm, you're in for a treat. All right, that's a big piece. I'm gonna put the smaller piece. I'll break it down some more, okay. but. So yeah, this. Um, Honey, that, you're not gonna eat it. Is it? Well, I have a big pipe, <laughs> so. Gonna smoke it. Uh, let me show, <laughs> you, let me show you, you the method the, whole thing. the method behind my madness is because okay. I have a big pipe. So I thought because that's made in Denmark, I got a pipe that's made in Denmark. Look at this pretty thing. This is a Benway pipe. I think I have at least two. Uh, and you know, it says made in Denmark on the back and all that. So I thought, why not? Let's pair that with that. Oh, there we go. Now we go. And for you... I got you. There you go. There you, you are. You can it's say. the LCS Briars, London Cullen with Simon. That's the channel, right? Yeah. So then, you know, because the name was the London, whatever, I, I gave you a London pipe. Yours is right. filter. Mine Perfect. is not. Uh, my other Benway is one of the ones that I have on the list to sell eventually. I keep saying that, and I have all these pipes that I'm going to, but I never get around to it. But all right. So the, we now talked about. Now in finals. Yeah. <laughs> This one actually has some moisture, as you can see. When we, when we uh, press it, it sticks together. So let's call it, let's call it medium. Yeah, you you do it now. I love the smell. I can still smell it, man. Yeah, I keep you keep on boring. I should have like... bought chocolate today when we went to the store because now I'm gonna ah! I'm gonna crave chocolate. But you, I buy chocolate you eat it in know. one sitting. I know. I'm I'm bad. I'm, I'm yeah. I'm it has hard. some moisture for sure. It's just a little sticky. But I haven't worked on my, yeah. yeah. Guys, I don't know if you know anybody that's allergic to chocolate, but I am. And this is, <laughs> this is funny because I love chocolate, but, uh, but if I eat too much, you know, I start getting like an itchy nose and all that. Yeah. And uh, when they did the test when I was a kid, everything came up. So I'm allergic to chocolate, shellfish, uh, you name it, dust, trees. I will have to live inside of a bubble, really. And so what I do is I eat, I eat all of those things. Now that I'm adult, um, you know, I, I might get itchy nose or whatever, but. 
He prefers to just, just completely get suffer. rid of his nose and suffer and have but blisters. I, I enjoy life. I enjoy life. <laughs> He's going to eat the chocolate. Dogs, cats, and I own dogs. And I mean, I'm just allergic to everything. Well, not right now. No, not here in the house. No, I just I buy them and I'm going to give them away. To the kids it's and to my way. parents. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well already. Are you this, ready? I'm. I'm just. I'm just loving that. This. The smell. Yeah. So I'm gonna stop this pipe here. Well, let's see if the smell matches the smoke. Yes. Let's That's see. That's important. But well, if you go by the smell alone, it's just like it's a winner already. Just like the one we did before, the Solani H Barely Flake. This is another one that people love a lot. So we've done the. Some of it, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot out there, but the three that, that people, are, you know, always kind of talk good about, Wessex, the Solani, and now this one. Thank you for your votes. We'll give you a chance to vote on the next one at the end. Mm. All right, so I'm going to tamper. Well, I'm, I'm just going to bake it. I'm going to use this again for the ones that didn't see it last time. This is this is made by Mark in Tobacco Pipes International, and uh, he, um, I, he makes them different sizes. I have a bigger one. And this one, well, I don't know what I did with a bigger one, but it's so cool. They look like a cigar, but they, they're tampers, yeah. And I'm going to use from buttons for my bridges. <laughs> for your bridges. Yeah, for, my, for my bridges. <laughs> you changed the name. Like I, I, I do all the time. Did I, what was it? Button for your what? Button for your bridges, not for my bridges. Button well, for why do I need button for your bridges? I need it for me. <laughs> I uh, change everybody's name. Let's <laughs> call them, and you have to change the name now. Change your name. <laughs> so I, I have another tamper here for from him too. This little frog one. So, ah. Yeah, with a pipe. Yeah. Okay. So tampers, are, tampers are fun. They are, especially the ones he makes. He makes a lot of them. Wide variety. He's an awesome, uh, awesome person, and so is his wife. They're wonderful people. They usually are on the... Uh, Larry Blackett. Yes, they're usually on the shows. And... Pipe shows, yeah. Spend the pipe shows. Please support them. They're a wonderful couple. Super friendly. Helpful. It's actually a fun thing to go on in the show when he has his display. He has one of the best displays of tampers. And you can just spend... You know, definitely some minutes there, just kind of looking at them one by one to and pick. And I think he probably can make you some of whatever you like. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's that talented. Yeah. Yeah, he did one for old man things, and it was their own version, and it was like a like a frog, like a toad and a frog and a toad, um, because he has that, uh, what is it called? Like a the frog and toad, toad bar, and so he made a tamper. It looks like that oh. one that I have, actually. Pretty similar. All right, so first light. Uh, the, you, you could you could get like that little bit of of, of pearly chocolate to leave. It, you it, know, it, one it was thing great. I have not done yet. I have not read anything. So I guess I should read that, right? All right. And I think I'm trying to uh, delay it because <laughs> I was having trouble with whatever they said. No, oh. it's the other the other I, side, my love. Well, I was just gonna so you don't have oh, to. Okay, yeah. thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're so excited. We're having fun. We, we forget to read. The smell was so good that I completely just continue and forgot about it. So okay, this us. is actually a Burley London blend. This tin is out of a special one-time run of the Burley London blend. A Burley-based tobacco with a hint of chocolate notes. And it does. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not lying. They, they're telling the truth. 100%. It smells just very, very like cocoa. Christmassy. I think this would be like a good Christmassy it will work. blend. If you think of, of, of chocolate, you know, with the marshmallows and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, something I didn't do is is, is show it to them close up. So I'll do that in I here did, because this. Oh, you did? I went up there. Yeah, but that's, you can do it twice. That's all right. Guys, uh, uh, eight I, I think he has been inebriated with, with the, the smell. <laughs> I don't eight know what plus. he's doing anymore. A plus on the smell, oh guys, this was great. I mean, there you know, there's some things that have that smell of vanilla and, and, and raisins, whatever that smells good, but this chocolate smell, for anybody that's a chocolate lover, it is intoxicating. It is just awesome. I, I hope that it tastes as 
bread is this about? So far it's good. I like, I, I got a good kind of flavor from the first light. Oh, awesome. And from the second light too, yeah, I even got a little bit of that kind of chocolatey. So that's, so far so good. I, I picked the, the bomb one again. All right, here we go. Guys, we're hoping you're having an awesome weekend. Um, the Olympics are going on. Mm -hmm. You're watching that? Is we have the Olympics, the Olympics, I don't know how I say it. It's just messing me up. But we have the the um, the pre the presidency situation going on. A lot to watch uh, on TV for sure. Yeah, yeah, you got a lot to watch. Yeah, I have that to say. And then TV series. Ooh. <laughs> I am looking forward to seeing tonight. Like, I really like that series. So we re me, 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 uh, currently me. we're seeing House of Dragons, and we are seeing Those About to Die, which is like a Roman uh, time series with one of my favorite actors, Anthony Hopkins. And but that one you have to see on Peacock. It but, started with a bang. It 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 started really good. Mm -hmm. It's very promising. I I, I want to continue to see it. By the way, um, I'm not getting any money from Peacock, obviously. But if you're military, you know, mm -hmm. like me, um, there's a discount. So look it up. There's a discount. Instead of having to pay $7.99 a month, you pay $2.99. So uh, they'll do a verification thing. And yeah. and uh, if you approve, then, then that's a lot of savings. By show of hands, you know, out there, how many of you have more than then one or two of this you know netflix amazon prime apple tv hulu disney plus peacock max or hbo showtime i mean let us know there are so many that you know you, you could be i mean that for some people there's no need even more for cable because if this is what you watch then just pay those streaming and, and I haven't had cable for the longest time now. Me neither. You don't need it. Plus, I'm I'm a movie. Uh, you like you like movies. I'm a movie yeah. holic. I have so many movies. Yeah, we're hoping that in this, when we move to the rental house, we're gonna have a easier way to kind of display stuff. I'm looking forward to getting all the tobacco from the boxes and putting them somewhere so I can see him better and see what I got um, because now you know I never got him out here because I didn't know how long I was going to be here in this apartment I, I thought it was going to be only one year we ended up being here two, two. Mm -hmm. but now the rental agreement is for two for sure so now I can say you know I can get this stuff out because I know for two years at least because you, know. so you have a huge cabinet in the living room oh yes yes, yes. they left the cabinet there so I probably fill that up if I can yeah yeah it is huge yeah that's the first thing you said, but you better have it pretty because it's in the living room. Oh boy. If it's messy, it's, it's, everything's coming out. All right, tell me about the smell. I, I. You changed the subject. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like, you noticed that? Yeah. I, I, I'm, I don't know if it's just because my brain is already biased, but I'm smelling a little bit of the, the sweetness in the air. And when I do it like that, and it's really close to my nose, oh, you know what? Let's do a retro hell. Very pleasant, very smooth. This is one that I actually will say, I wanna, I want no filter. I wanna taste everything. Mm because the taste is, is, is so far so wonderful. It's pleasant smell. You can, I think that you can smell, then you can smoke it inside or out. It's not a bomb, it's, it's very pleasant. Are you getting any particular things with the smell? Like I said, sweetness, chocolate. Uh, sweetness. All right. Not, not anything particular. I think I'm a little bit already uh, been guided with the smell of the chocolate so in my mind is chocolate you know mm -hmm, when your mm -hmm. mind is telling you oh this is what i got mm -hmm. this is what it is so um 
but it's a sweet smell. It doesn't smell like chocolate, but it, I mean, it doesn't smell when you smoke it. I apologize. When you smoke it, it doesn't mm -hmm. smell like chocolate, but when you smell it out of the tin, it does smell exactly like cocoa. Like if you open a, a and even here, uh, if I blow all that smoke there, yeah, no. Now it's smoky. Yes, it is. Uh, Very pleasant. Uh, mm -hmm. Very pleasant. Oh man! So, hey, this this is giving Wessex a run for his money. It is. It's, you know, we have to compare like smoke, smoke both at the same time and see which one we yeah, prefer the yeah. most. But I, I believe. But definitely, I can tell already that I like this better than the Solani, solely for the, for. Yeah, this is the one that we did last week. So, um, yeah, I I like I like it better. This one better than the Solani. Yeah, because at the beginning when we had this, when we were smoking the Solani, I was like the smell was kind of odd. Um, and then after that, when you started smoking, at the very beginning, it was a little bit off putting. But as long as you start smoking it, all of those uh, negative things that you were getting at the very beginning dissipated, mm -hmm. and it started getting better and better. So, um, yeah. it, it was, it was, it, but the smell at the beginning was not great. So I would say that this one is better than that one in terms of as soon as you open it, you have a pleasant smell, and. Uh, and you continue on, it still continues to be positive. And you don't have to be like, oh, let me give it a try. Let me let me try some more. Yeah. Used to be, and I don't know if it's because the, those were the blends that I had at the beginning when I started smoking. I had a lot of McBaron blends. Uh, and they used, they used to uh, cause a lot of tongue biting me. Uh, and I started kind of moving away from them. Um, and I found that some of the other ones were not giving me the tongue bite. So... Um, that's something I've been, I'm trying to, to figure out with this one, making sure that it doesn't give me a tongue bite because usually McMahon would do that to me. I would say it's not highly on the negative, on the negative, what do you, do you, I would say maybe medium? Yeah, between mild and medium, yeah. I mean, Burleys are higher than Nucketin than, than Virginia, so it's not going to be on, on the low end, but I, this is not like uh, some of the rustic and dark fire Kentucky where we put them on the high end. So, yeah, medium sounds about right. Like. It is a wonderful, I mean, it's, they did a good job. I can tell that it's just, Burleys are good. There were different types of Burleys, again, just mm -hmm. like the other one where you have different colors of them, you know? You can see that right away. You know, there's some lighter ones and darker ones and medium ones. So, good selection. It burns well, even with me talking. So, I would say you see that to kind of stuff and puff. Even though that, you know, the moisture was, was on the Kind of yeah. medium side. Maybe, hey, if, if you are one of those who like to relight a lot, just let it dry a little bit. Yeah. You know, give it 30 minutes, an hour, and then and then go at it. Um, I don't mind relighting. It's part of the I fun. I do. I do. You do. <laughs> I know. I'm getting patient. That's why I take a little longer breaking it down. All right. So while we keep smoking a little longer, I'm going to give you guys the vote, the vote for next time. Oh. I'll smoke yours. <laughs> okay. Well, then you have to light it again. I think I missed it. Darn it. Yeah, I'll get it ready for you. That way you can Never do the, the, switcher, the switcheroo and tell. See what you think without the... Filter. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. So, for you guys to vote, we're going to give hiking another one. Try, last vote here, hiking or um, Ken Byron's Venture Burley Morning Pipe. Those are going to be the choices for next week. Whoever wins, we'll do that. And then I think we might, we might take a break from the Burley and, and, and review something else that's just not Burley. For the people that don't like Burley, we don't want to. We don't want to keep you guys away. 
and um and of course if we get something new we will review it now i've have heard to the, to the grapevine that um a, a, a warp sun espresso is coming back so um if that's something that you guys missed out last time it came out uh, be on the lookout i don't have specifics but it could be as early as next week uh for warp sun espresso i'll get it real quick you want to keep them entertained i think i have Me? it okay yeah well i can sell you but i have on the thumbs up thumbs down and the nice star so you can look all right like yes let's do that all right one two three surprise <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. So okay. I'm gonna start so you ahead. can go ahead and start looking for whatever it is that they do. Yeah, it's right there. For. Okay, so first of all, the smell was delicious. We we cannot say enough about how wonderful this fragrance. Of, it was very fragrant. Was to me, I was doing. A, mind you, it's a filter. Uh, mine was a filter pipe. It had no tongue bite at all. I didn't uh, taste anything very pleasurable. Uh, taste on your palate um great tasting it, it to me on my pipe was a medium uh nick hit on yours was a little stronger yeah, okay. yeah. it was a little stronger yeah, so filter, yeah. so if i say mid hit keep in mind that i'm using a filter he's not so i, I will say it's a little bit higher than what i i was getting from my filter pipe um let me see what else yes i said that um beginning to end very enjoyable mm -hmm. there was not a lot of of negative things that i can say uh about it other than i have to relight a few times um and it was a very it was great blending very well blended it was excellent i give it a 4.75 wow. it's right up there to me it is delicious wow they they did awesome they did a great job that that's my opinion that's my humble opinion. All right. Well, I'm going to give it a 4.5, up there 2 out of 5. Um, I Right now, I'm going to say I like the Wessex better, but this one's really close in there. For sure, this is, comes in second. Yeah. Very enjoyable. Very, I like that it's smoky. I like that it's from the first light. The, the flavors are just great. The smell on the, oh my God, the smell on the thing is great. I, I, I can't wait to, to kind of put it on a mason jar and have it there. I mean, that's going to be a great just open and smell. <laughs> um so uh, high marks and and easy to smoke yeah very smooth yeah very smooth the retro hill was great it smooth was. uh you get some of that kind of nutty chocolatey through the retro hill i can still have that nuttiness on, yeah. on my palette there very well it's lingering mm -hmm. you know it's this is something that and again this is just our opinion but it's something i encourage people to do if you're having bad luck with some blends uh, keep trying there there's gonna be a blend out there that you're gonna absolutely love and and then you know uh, you know now you found it and then you can enjoy that you know and you don't have to kind of uh, have blends that are so so you know have blends that you enjoy talking about that so this is the one that I is coming out uh, again uh, this is a, a brand new uh, 2024 version of it uh, so it's gonna be out soon so for if you guys missed out on last time, this one says July 15 of 24. Um, this is another chance because it was impossible to find. And now you get another chance. It was one of my favorites um, that year that it came out. I think it was like two years ago, maybe. Hmm. So That's we nice. recommend it. And, <laughs> and it it's definitely gives you that kind of coffee, you know, espresso, you know, and, and, and it goes well with coffee. But it was, it was a really pleasant blend to have, so... All right, this one smells good. So how about, tell them a little bit of what, what comes after this. All right, so what comes after this? You What's know cooking it. good looking? What's cooking good looking is going to be pasta bologna, and it's gonna be uh, made with uh, orchietta pasta. And it's one of uh, those favorite, uh, how, what do you call when, when there's a meal? Um, that comfort you, food. A comfort food. It's yeah. one of those comfort food, it's delicious. One bowl. That's all you need. Just everything's gonna be right there. You're gonna throw. You've been doing a lot of one bowls one lately. One bowls. Yeah. yeah, they're good because if I if I if or one, I, pot, one pot, one pot, one pot, one pot, yeah. One pot, yeah. Um, if I if I overcomplicate things, if I said okay, let's make rice, beans, this, that, 
that's gonna take a long time and people like get bored like i just give me a quick version <laughs> and actually packs that bowling it, it takes a very long time this is a faster version yeah i like that it's going to be like a faster shorter version of it but it's going to be full of flavor so don't don't you think that the it's faster just, you make it the faster i get to eat it yeah the faster it's gone <laughs> well good so uh, that's gonna come right after we're being very consistent about 10 a.m uh we're doing this show on saturday morning so hey set it on your calendars if you don't want to miss it uh you can always watch it on replay obviously and then 10 30 right after you know, we have the yeah. cooking with Lady, Lady Fire. Fire's Kitchen. Thank you so oh, much for man. all of your comments. You guys have made a lot of comments. I hope that I have been able to keep up with everybody. I think I have. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's very um, inspirational and it's very motivational um, that that you guys comment and tell me, you know, how you feel about this or that or whatever. We have conversations. Yeah. And we're trying to keep the videos yeah. short uh, I'm, over I'm there. I'm trying my best. <laughs> so if you have, you know, like someone one time asked for a more detailed recipe and, and we, then we just wrote it in there so just let us know we'll give you as much as little as, as you want that way we don't overwhelm you yeah uh, but um of course she goes over as she puts it in she goes over of how much of this how much of that yes. you know right on the spot yeah right. so i uh, somebody uh, requested lasagna that i i make but i make puerto rican style or make oh it american God, style it's so gonna good. be my style and um, that takes a while and so yeah. there's a lot of recipes that i have that they do take some time mm -hmm, uh mm -hmm. and I, what i like about uh, me is this when i am don't have to go straight by recipes that i just started then i make something completely out of the blue i was i started oh making something God, so good. and i said i'm gonna make this and i ended up making something else and then our, out of the blue our son asked about you know what the sauce? Well, what is this sauce? what what is the sauce and, and you have to think of all the stuff you put in there so what did i put i put so much stuff <laughs> actually i should write that i'm gonna yeah, write that, that down because it was one. a lot of stuff that i put in there but it was really good yeah that, that was delicious i think I, uh, it was langost with langostinos that's what i put oh, it, it was just deli I, there's a little bit left actually i, I might go eat that right now i'm so sorry all right so don't forget this is the vote for next week all uh, right back, ken to byron, back to business ken byron adventures barely barely morning pipe mm -hmm. or the cobblestone hiking, they're both Burley blends. And this might be, uh, you know, we might switch it off the Burley to something else. So this is the last time uh, for, for the voting of Burleys. And then I think we're going to switch, switch it around. Yeah, yeah we, we can always come back to Burleys later. All right. Have a blessed rest of the week. Uh, hope you're enjoying, you know, your weekend. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep seeing you. I mean, for now, we'll keep doing this for a little bit. You know, we'll let you know if anything changes. But as long as you guys are enjoying it, we will be seeing you every Saturday. All right. Thank you so much for joining us and spending this time with us. I hope you're having an awesome weekend. Um, thank you for the, your support um, here and in Lady Fire's Kitchen as well. Um, so we really thank you. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the content. And if you are new and you're just watching us for the first time, please subscribe. Be our friend. Be our friend. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. you all stay lit. You all stay blessed. We'll see you next Saturday at the same time. Stay lit. Bye. Bye.